Lee Harvey Oswald killed no one at all. So the point is, it wasn't a question of being alone or with anybody. He had nothing to do with the assassination. I had the impression, both before and, and after the assassination, that Jim Garrison was his absolute nut. John Kennedy was killed by a major force. The simplest way to describe it is a Central Intelligence Agency. I was burned so many times that I stopped giving interviews. In other words, if the words weren't, uh, if the words were, ended up in print, they were twisted in an in, in, indescribable fashion. If, the, if they were for TV, uh, repeatedly the editing resulted in, in an absurdity. So I reached the point in, in where I concluded it would be almost useless to try and communicate my position, and I was tired of, of, uh, of being harassed. Jim Garrison was elected to his first term as New Orleans District Attorney, March 3, 1962. Garrison was the first independent, non-politically aligned district attorney ever elected to that office. He was 43 years old, almost four years younger than President Kennedy. Unlike Kennedy, Garrison had little money with which to campaign. But like Kennedy, he had an appealing, straightforward presence on television. He was a former fighter pilot, FBI agent, assistant DA, a father, and had a devoted wife. When he took office, he immediately began closing down the city's illegal pinball operations and bordellos. His actions so outraged eight judges who had ignored these vice operations, they moved to cut off his funds for such raids. Garrison immediately began openly criticizing the actions of what he called these eight sacred cows. The eight judges were so outraged by his comments, they filed suit to shut him up. In one of its most cited rulings to date, the Supreme Court upheld his right to criticize public officials. In five years, Jim Garrison would be criticizing public officials again, this time about the assassination of John F. Kennedy. The case as it stood uh, was a winnable case. It, uh, it's a rather long story about how the government managed to tear it to pieces like a mad dog. On March 1, 1967, five years after taking office, Jim Garrison stunned America and especially New Orleans when he arrested prominent New Orleans businessman Clay Shaw and charged him with conspiracy in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Garrison accused Shaw of being one of the CIA agents who had helped set up Lee Harvey Oswald to be the patsy in the killing of John F. Kennedy. He completely believed that his case would never get, the, that his case would be stopped that it would never get to trial, either because of his death or for some other reason. If Garrison had succeeded in proving uh, that Shaw was a, one of the ringleaders and that Shaw was connected with CIA, he would have pulled the plug on the conspiracy, which then immediately causes the public to drop the Oswald idea. If you've got a conspiracy, you've got more than one man up in a window with an old gun, and they would have stared in the face the great big letters W-H-Y. Why was the president killed? <laughs>